Is it fair to say Tomlin is not a great coach, just a great cheerleader? Yeah, no, no disrespect to Terry Bradshaw, but at the same time, I've never seen a cheerleader coach a football game, ever. Um, you know, being a head coach, sometimes you got to wear many hats. You got to treat certain players differently. You got to go about things a certain way. You can't just be one way. You have to kind of manage a team and emotions and, and things across the board. So, look, if you have to be a, the rah-rah guy and cheerleader, then you be that. If you have to be the, the hard-nosed coach and come down to your players hard and be the disciplinarian, you be that. So, I, I, him being a cheerleader, I don't know if that, that's just that, – that went over my head when I seen that. Michael Lombardi, I'm going to pivot to you. I don't have a problem with Brad, what Bradshaw said. I, I'm going, but I want to let everybody else chime in first. What your take on Bradshaw's comments and whether yesterday's games proved them illegitimate? Well, I think, as I said on the show after Terry said it, I, I think there's always the details that always seem to be a little bit missing when you look at the Steelers. They're seven and eight without Ben when he's played. You know, they're four, they're 45 and 38 on the road, including the playoffs. So it isn't like when you look at the Patriots and you measure him against another great coach, I think you say to yourself, well, wait a minute, that's that doesn't measure out. And I think really what you see most of the time, and, and I'm not sure about Terry's choice of words, but you see the inconsistencies. And that's what I was referring to. When they go to Miami and get blown out or they go to Philadelphia and get blown out, they don't play to the level of comp. And I think it's in those inconsistencies, it's in those details that leaves you wondering how great of a coach is this guy and, and where, why does this happen? Does it happen to other great coaches? And the answer is pretty much no. Jason, he's Terry Bradshaw getting killed on the yeah, internet this weekend, destroyed, yeah. particularly yesterday. Your take on it, it, the internet, I think, thinks Terry Bradshaw was out of bounds. Yeah, he went overboard. You're, I mean, clearly. Now, Mike, here, here's the problem. The internet's like, why do we always have to compare everybody to Belichick? Do we compare every player to LeBron? I mean, think about it. Well, yeah, think said, think about it for said, a second. We said the word great. I mean, yeah, you want to compare him to Paul Brown? Yeah. There, there's you, levels you of greatness. To... Mike McCarthy is a great coach, right? Uh, John Harbaugh won a Super Bowl. I've Guess never what? heard the he missed level the playoffs of playoffs three of the next level, four years. I've never heard level of greatness. I, I mean, think they're, you're either a great coach. I think this. I mean, look, you want to compare him to Paul Brown? You want to compare him to Don Shula? You want to? We yeah, can but, do no, that. That's Body. not the point. Terry called him a cheerleader. That's that, like what yeah. Sean said. Managing egos is part of the job. Okay, handling drug suspensions, which the Steelers have a, a few of. Right? He's got to handle those. He's got to handle Le'Veon Bell, Antonio Brown's celebrations. He's doing a great job of that. We're talking about a guy who's been to two Super Bowls in 10 years. Yes, he inherited a great quarterback. But, again, the Internet's definitely siding with Sean and I here. They're, they're against you. Listen, here's what I want to say. It's me. I, <laughs> I mean, I mean yeah, a Jet fan can't wait to blame him. <laughs> I mean, he can't blame him. Hold, 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 hold for one second. For one second. Hold for one second. Listen, I, li when it comes to Mike Tomlin, the Pittsburgh Steelers organization has had three head coaches. All three have won a Super Bowl. There's a reason why no coach seems to fail in Pittsburgh. They have a great structure system set up for a coach to succeed. You plug, and I don't want to say any coach, but they've plugged three in and they've all won Super Bowls. So there's something unique about the Pittsburgh organization. A lot of times, with Tomlin, I'm not sure if he's totally in control of his own coaching staff. No. He's not. They have a, a scouting department and, and everything built around him, a system of support. And so, listen, Terry's choice of words, cheerleader, may be a little over yeah. the top. But when you're speaking off the cuff on a television show and you're trying to make your point, I got into this, I'm going to make this analogy to Brady Hoke, who started out coaching. He played at Ball State, my alma mater, started out coaching there. I saw a great coach at Ball State do something incredible that no one's ever took us to 12 and 0, top 15 in the country. I had to sit and watch him go to Michigan and get, and I was with him at San Diego State as well, and he did a great job there. He went to Michigan, and people started piling on the guy as things fell apart and started calling him a cheerleader. Listen, as much as I disagree with that criticism of Brady Hoke, I have to acknowledge there's some legitimacy to it in terms of how he operated at Michigan, and I completely disagree with it. So I, I think people are overreacting. Terry Bradshaw is saying, look, man, in this system, you're not required to do a whole lot. I don't see a lot there. He may be completely wrong, but his opinion being out of line, I disagree with. People that want to disagree with him, I don't think they're out of line. 